what's up y'all back with another video so today i'm not even gonna waste y'all time for real i'm gonna get right into it like this is crazy like this is crazy yo i wasn't i was never expecting to see this i ain't gonna lie to y'all i thought this was buried like way back i thought this all of this was buried but i guess not man i guess that's what comes with being an influencer a big influencer on social media so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a post and i'm gonna get right into this video uh this is damo they say this the last time i'm addressing this over four years later be for real y'all i feel that it's funny because i never see like is I never, like, as many times as Domo name has been mentioned by a certain person, I have never seen her respond. So this was kind of like, <laughs> when you fed up, you fed up. What's up, y'all? It's Domo Wilson in this. Why was that so squeaky? You know, so squeaky? I don't know. But anyways, y'all, I just came back from a date, so that's why I'm looking like this. Um, Yeah. I don't know how I make the time for all this. A full-time single mom. <laughs> I'm in school studying to become a pre-doctor, which brings me to the topic. I don't know if I want to be an OBGYN or a major in psychology. And I need to hurry up and decide because I'm almost about to graduate and I'm not going to give you guys the graduation name. Oh, snap. I don't know pressure on me. But like, yeah, yeah, you're going to do that and I'm going to be nervous. But just know. Yo, that went fast. Like, I feel like Domo just went to school. Wow. Wow. And I'm not going to say when, but just know if you just see me on the timeline with a diploma in the head. And my baby's standing right there next to me. And I got tears in my eyes. Just know that it happened. But anyways, <laughs> um, so my whole point of even saying all that was, I don't know how I fit all this in my schedule, but I do. I'm super tired right now. But I'm like, you know what? I look kind of decent. Let me make the video right now. <laughs> so as you can see from the title, here we go again. I don't even know what I'm titled. Like, here we go again. Or Here you know, we go okay, again. So you have been off the internet or just been not paying attention rightfully so you know what I'm saying? It's a whole life outside the internet, which is what I've been living. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of drama with me and my ex. Again, again, it's crazy. Or almost five years later, again, it leaves me in confusion every time. You know, every time, every time. Look I for. understand because honestly, I'm confused. Like Chrissy, since they broke up, been in a whole new relationship. Damo been doing her thing. We just seen like her go through her situations with people. They both been dealing with other people. Four years later, it's still the internet on some bs and it's crazy i'm just making it's crazy i never make a long story short i don't know why i said that you don't. long story long story <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna start here my ex has been blocked on everything since 2018 everything everything actually no not her number not her number but everything else blocked so i don't see nothing she posts mm. at all don't go looking for it don't care to be honest like i don't give a shit and i don't mean that no disrespect for what so i don't check up on my ex no sir sure. she posted a tiktok that said like and that wasn't the problem and that's why you mad has a trend on tiktok and i did not know that tiktok and i guess i made a tiktok that was like really close in time to when she made a tiktok and i was like imagine still mentioning me and i forgot you existed like imagine why are you still mentioning me and so uh people oh my gosh this shit fucking y'all did the most. I ain't even gonna lie. People took her TikTok and they took my TikTok and they put it against each other and it was like, oh, it's beef. <laughs> it's beef. It's whoa. Oh, so all of this was over a TikTok video. <laughs> Yo, and it's weird because people post TikTok videos all the time using those quotes, using the voiceovers and all types of stuff. Like, I just don't get how you comparing and putting two videos together from two people just because it relates to an ex or anything do y'all not understand that Darmo has dealt with different people after Chrissy and Chrissy is clearly with a whole nother woman I don't get how people just automatically assume oh they talking about each other like like they the only exes that they got I'm I'm just I mean, people want to assume, and that's just the internet. So. And that's how it only started, and I'm not going to lie. I it's did crazy. not even see her TikTok. Y'all commented on my videos. Yeah. Like, I've been waiting on you to clap back. I've been waiting on you to respond because I've been getting mentioned, which I'm going to I'm gonna um, talk about it's that crazy. in a minute. I've been getting mentioned constantly for the last four years. And I believe she said that she doesn't <laughs> 
but mainly by her girlfriend. That's facts. That's facts. Like, I have seen this girl, like, it's all over YouTube. This girl constantly brings up Damo. It's kind of weird. It's, it's weird. Like, you would have thought that she was fucking Damo or something. Like, it's weird. It's obsessive. Like, that's facts. Doesn't talk about me or anything, but I've been getting sent screenshots from what she posts and stuff like. And I hate that y'all, y'all some messenger ass bitches. I didn't ask they you are, yo. times. Don't send me nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it's no beef. It's no fucking beef, bro. It's no beef. But like, why? Like, I'm not gonna say why, because somebody put it into perspective. <laughs> I'm fucking sleepy. Somebody's Slow down, to for me on why people feel the need to do that, even though it don't make no sense to me. It makes zero sense. But this is what they said. You guys were the biggest lesbian couple once upon a time on the internet. People are always going to connect you two together. And I'm like, I get that point of view, but nah. it's also a sickness. No. Nah. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Yeah. Like, you messaging me about somebody I was with. Oh, pushing five years ago yeah and nobody wants to continuously hear especially with their situation and how it ended nobody wants to continuously keep hearing about somebody that they most likely don't want to hear about you feel me like who wants to keep hearing about an ex that they was with four or five years ago like let it go move on next <laughs> like talk about chrissy and her new boo like talk about them she's in a whole new relationship why y'all still trying to put them together like it's weird it's very weird. <laughs> you okay, babe? <laughs> we can talk about it. Like, no, Damo is funny. Listen. Yes. Once upon a time, we were that couple. Rather, everything mm. was behind the scenes, genuine or not. We were just that couple to y'all, okay? We had a good run. We had a good run, but it's over. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's over. Let's move forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's move forward, baby. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. It was never that deep. And I understand <laughs> that we were probably most of you guys' childhood. Some of you guys' childhood. You looked up to us. You came out because of us. Which I think is amazing. Anybody coming out the closet, anybody killing yeah. yourself, I'm fucking cheering for you, baby. Like, hell yeah. I do not, like, I, it was hard for me to come out. So I get that. I understand the logic behind why y'all group us together. But at some point, you gotta stop. Find another couple. There's so many lovely lesbian couples on the internet right now. You it know, is. There's so many lovely lesbian couples on TikTok. Like, look up to them. You know what I'm saying? Go it to is. Them. Like, it's so many other options. And it's like, enough is enough. I love you guys with every being in my soul, my body, everything. Like, I let y'all know this all the time. Without y'all, I would not be where I am today. Without you all and God. I gotta give more glory to God. But without y'all and God, y'all, I always said this, I would not be where I am today. So, thank you guys. But, like, when it comes to y'all playing and telephone and oh she said this she said that she's i don't Messenger. give a fuck baby let her <laughs> live like okay i'm getting off subject because y'all know that yo that's one thing about the internet that i hate yo but me i'm famous for ignoring motherfuckers because motherfuckers be trying to come to me like this that and the third did you hear about this and i don't give a fuck yo <laughs> i don't like that's why motherfuckers get ignored a lot on here like <laughs> so show the subject subject but what was I talking about? I guess my ex made a TikTok and she was like, oh, that wasn't a problem. So now you mad. And I made a TikTok, like, I guess soon after. And it was like, I'm actually still talking about me and I forgot you existed. One, I want to tell y'all who I was talking about. It's this girl. Specifically, specifically, it's this girl and this guy. Well, y'all might know the guy. So, shit. I, I don't give a fuck at this point. But it's this guy that keep constantly fucking mentioning me on his social media. And it's like, nigga, I don't want you. I don't give a fuck about you. Like, I give a fuck about you as a person. I'm not totally evil. But, like, get over it. You didn't get the clout you didn't get the money you didn't get like uh, let's move on how long has it been okay like i was talking about him there's a few people i was talking about actually i was talking about this girl i was with in high school and i graduated high school 10 years ago i'm not even joking at my Man. big grown age and your big grown age why the <laughs> fuck are you so it's, i know why it's because you know i became popping i'm wealthy and you thinking like oh damn if we were like 15 16 again she would have been mine no Give it up, baby. I don't. You don't know me anymore. If we haven't talked, exactly. In class, no, I'm gonna give it. If we haven't talked in a <laughs> yo, Dom will be so hype. Excuse me, I'm back. But if we haven't talked in like a month, maybe two, I'll give it two. Push it. You do not know me anymore. I evolve and I change all the time. And yep. I'm gonna talk about change. 
somewhere in this video. But just remember that point. I evolve and I change all the time. Her girlfriend. That'd be the funny thing about like that. Be the funny thing about people like that you went to high school with. Girl, you don't know me. I'm a grown ass woman. This is not high school. I hate when people say like, oh, I went to high school. I know her from high. You don't know me. We went to high school together. You knew me, baby girl. You don't know me anymore. I am not the same person from high school. If you are the same person from high school, something is not right. That means you're not growing. You're not changing. You're not evolving. That means you're stagnant and you're staying the same. I am not that same person. Like, I hate that, yo. I, that's, yo, I hate that so bad. I usually don't even mention, I don't mention her at all. I don't even mention none of them. I don't mention my ex or her girlfriend, right? I don't mention any of them. Mm. But her girlfriend constantly, constantly, constantly mention me. That's and a when fact. When my ex address all this stuff, she never mentioned her girlfriend. And I want to bring up the girlfriend. And honestly, that's I don't a fact. she get mad because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being silent. I'm sick of you constantly. How y'all know this is true? How y'all know? What you there? Right. There was two people present. Two, and you wasn't. Right. Give it up. Let it go. <laughs> like you're in a relationship. Right. According to y'all, you won. Exactly. Give it up. <laughs> you got it. Well, Yo, I fucking love Domo Yo because she be keeping it real though. Like you won. You won. You wanted her. You got her. You was you was all for the clout in the beginning. You was running the clout bag up. You feel me? You was going with all the bull crap that was going on. You feel me? You won. You got her. You good. It's no reason why you should still be mentioning this woman. Like, it's really giving obsessed. The way that Miller talks about her, yo, it gives obsessed, yo. I don't even see Chrissy talk about Damo this much. It's weird. It's really weird. Like, <laughs> why you keep mentioning me? If somebody asks you something about me, don't answer. Say no exactly. Let's answer this. But thank you so much. Let's move on to the next topic. Exactly. Or when you think about discussing me, don't. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I want to say. Weird. It ain't even really too much about X. So that's why I think that y'all are funny as hell because y'all automatically jump to her, which I want to talk about that too. When it's really her girlfriend, honestly, who constantly misses me. But Chrissy needs to address her because she needs to stop mentioning you. That's the problem. They're going to keep attacking Chrissy because obviously she's not checking Mila. Like she needs to address her. You need to stop mentioning this girl every time on live mentioning her. That's not the only thing that people comment, but you decide to pick out of the comments when somebody talk about Damo. It's weird. It's giving obsessed. It's giving you're trying to bring back a storyline or something or trying to make yourself relevant again. It's weird. Like, I don't get it. All the time. Like, for the it's last weird. years. Yes, my ex has mentioned me a few times. But yeah. I only know because you guys send it to me. So, like I said, stop playing telephone. I wouldn't even know that this shit. I wouldn't even know she made a video. If y'all didn't tell me, I would never know she'd be talking shit about me. Yeah. Sometimes. I'm not going to say all the time. If y'all not as much me, as me, though. If y'all didn't screen record, like, I would never know. So, yeah. why do y'all try to stir up beef? For what? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. after I post on my TikTok, everybody's like, oh my God, like, it's war, it's beef. She responded to her video. I plus replied with a video, and I was like, confused. And I'm going to put the video in right now. Hey y'all, I'm gonna try to keep this short, but honestly, when do I ever keep anything short? <laughs> but on a serious note, um, so I'm reading y'all comments, y'all like, girl, I seen a video, I seen a video, like comments like this. I'm just using this for example, and I'm dead ass like, what video? Literally in the back of my mind when y'all was commenting that, I'm like, here we go, fuck we go again. Like I've been single for four years. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's going on five years. Single baby, soft like, soft girl like. So I'm like, yo, are you fucking kidding me? I literally had no clue when I make this video. My name is always being brought up by multiple people. I told y'all not to do too much in the comments. I told y'all that it's multiple people who mention me. People I've been with back in high school. People are always gonna do too much. People I've been with four, five, six years ago still mentioning me. But I will say this. I have no beef with anybody. I honestly don't give a fuck. I don't care. Now, we'll say this. Just because somebody makes a video to a sound does not mean they're throwing shade at anybody. Like, right. Anybody like, what? I'm not singling anybody out. Anybody want to make a video? That's the thing with people, yo. Like, y'all on the internet love drama so much y'all try to connect the dots and make shit what it's not like that's the internet though like a lot of these motherfuckers on the internet are miserable they sit on here and they twitter fingers and they type type away and really don't know what the hell they be talking about that's just what comes with the internet you feel me
I learned that uh, by being on here and doing his reactions and people with their opinions, and that's cool, you feel me? Everybody gonna have their opinion, whatever the case may be. But with some of y'all be reaching, like reaching heavy, like reaching hard, like it just be crazy. It be crazy. Honestly, I am, this is like the softest life I've ever lived. My son is good, healthy, happy. I am doing the most, I'm making the most motherfucking and I'm proud of you. my life. I'm doing good. Great. I just wanna make this video and let y'all know, I didn't even know fucking about the video until like five minutes ago. I honestly constantly keep getting mentioned over the last four, five, six years, like constantly, and I don't respond ever, ever. I just ignore that shit because I'm like, yo, if, if somebody's still mentioning me, they must be hurt. And babe, I would be hurt too. I, it, honestly, if I lost me or whatever the case may be, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. So I get it. I understand. Let's not make this something that is not, please. If somebody discreetly doesn't say, hey, this is about what's the way what's the way what's the don't assume. I don't give a fuck. Y'all keep coming to me with information like, oh, they're talking about you again. They're talking about you again. Again. And they're going to do it again. They're going to keep talking. And that's what happens when you elevate and you move on in life. <laughs> like I said, this is about nobody in particular. I got exes, situationship, flings. <sighs> Ex one night stands. She got it all. One stand. <laughs> and then I just want to do that again. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, let's not make this something to innocent. That's no beef. Because the only way it would be beef is if I gave a fuck. And I don't. So, keep it on my page. Don't mention nobody I've ever been with. Don't mention nobody that you ever seen me with. If you don't see me with them, obviously. Like, gotta be like, oh, we're your ex best friend. And we're your. If you don't see me with him. Four, then what the f let's be let's be for real anyways guys i love you let's keep the positive vibes don't be bullying people don't be leaving hate comments on people's page no one cares let's move on in life let's move on please god <laughs> god please i pray for people that still mention me god please let them have peace and prosperity give them a healing in jesus name we pray amen baby let's go and yeah that's genuinely how i feel i did not even know that's what's so funny I didn't even know she posted the video. I think all the signs are ironic, super ironic to me. Um, the only reason I even seen the video is because I went to a T page because somebody tagged me. Damn, it's beef, it's beef. No, the fuck is not. Y'all creating something is not. You guys are creating something is not. It's not beef. Like I have not responded in over four years to anything. Nothing. Finally, something where I have. Oh wait, I have not responded to anything. Whether it's her girlfriend throwing shade, whether she's throwing shade, whatever the case may be, I have not responded. And I'm not even talking about the TikTok, which let me speak on the TikTok real quick. Like I said in the video when I posted it, she did not say my name. You can't say that, oh, she's talking about you. Yes, I can see how y'all thought that, to be honest. Because when I seen it, a little bit, I was like, oh, okay. And then I started thinking deeper. I was like, oh, okay. Because I don't be thinking about this shit. I literally yeah. just be living my life. I want to know what the video kid, was. Go on a school. I really don't be giving a fuck about shit else. I ain't even gonna lie. So I had to watch it a couple times to really like, okay. And still, I feel like I have to like force myself to like feel something that I fucking do. I don't know. As in like, do I think it was about me? I don't fucking know. No, do I fucking care? Bro. Mm. I want to talk about this. I be making TikToks and y'all be like, oh, is this about your ex? Is this about your ex? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> A lot of y'all ain't gonna like this video. Y'all gonna be like, damn, damn, like, you so mean. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nah, I fuck with it though. I don't think she been mean or nothing like that. Cause she me all day. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, a lot of y'all really do need to shut the fuck up. Like, period. Like, four years ago, going on five years ago, y'all still trying to group them together. That shit is weird, bro. I don't know how many other times I can say it, how many other ways I can say it. Say it. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Slow down, dog. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> No one cares. We're off that shit. Let her live her life, okay? We broke up over four years ago. Let her live. I've been telling y'all that for years. Screenshot number one. Screenshot number two. Screenshot number three. Yeah, she and is. it can go on. I never say anything but positive things. No matter how I may feel on the inside, as in like, shit, that be fucked up in the past. It's the past. People can't change the past, okay? People cannot change the past. Y'all gotta yeah. move on. We are never going to be together again. It's this narrative. Oh, they're talking about each other because they miss each other. And it's important to give people grace. Like, that was a long time ago. Chrissy and Domo, they both are, I'm sure you know grown different people now that have evolved and i'm sure you know they think about a lot of things that they did in the past and they think about how i can do better in my future but it's just crazy to keep trying to hold something over somebody's head like people make mistakes at some point you just got to give people grace learn 
the new person for who they are today, not the person that they were back then. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with people going and bashing Chrissy. Like, that's crazy to me. I would never go bash somebody or talk down on somebody. You feel me? It's You draw a line at a certain point. Like, you don't have to like somebody. Don't watch them. It's that simple. You feel me? But to go bashing people and doing the most, like, that's that's insane to me. Like, that's, that's overboard. No, we don't. I would never be with her again. One, she's not my type. And I mean that in the oh. most respectful way possible. <laughs> beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. I feel but not you. my type. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know this right now. I always get this question and I never answer it because I don't want... And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest why I never answer. Because I always be like, oh, like I don't know. I don't got a type. I don't think. But I never fully answer it. I don't want the people who look different from me to be offended and think that I'm racist or something. Or I, whatever, because y'all not my type. Like, every time like I ever said something in the past, y'all would be like, that's racist. So you tell me you don't date this color. People. That's not racist. That, she got a preference. how I've been navigating. I would date any color people. Okay? <laughs> I would date any color people. That don't even that sentence don't sound right to me. I don't, I don't even race, care. Damo, race. I don't, any <laughs> I don't even care. I would date anybody as long as you're good to me. But lady, mm. this been my type. Type number one. Yeah. Dark skin. That way. Oh, she no mind. Uh, <laughs> type number two. And don't do too much. Y'all don't know him. Okay. He has no social media. All right. Much. You I'm like the dark here. skins, clearly. Type three. Yeah. Dark and brown. And okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> type number four. And okay. On and on and on. I just want to let y'all know I would never show y'all who I'm actually talking to unless I was engaged or married. These people were just the fling at the time in my life. LOL. But y'all get the point. Yeah, I get it. Like y'all get over it. We're never gonna be together again. It's never gonna be that. Right. Excuse me. Can you record me real quick? Mm-hmm. Can you record me real quick? Mm-mm, this is somebody else to do it. Whatever y'all trying to make it to be like, oh my gosh, so I just hear somebody say, oh, they need to just sit down and talk it out. They need to sit down and smoke a block. First of all, I don't smoke. I have nothing against people that smoke, but I don't smoke. And my ex is going to be mad that I'm saying this, but I want to keep it really one hundred here. I'm trying to sit down and be as honest and transparent as I can without spilling too much information because... The moment I do, y'all gonna run run it and y'all gonna do too fucking much. Just like y'all did with that motherfucking TikTok I posted. In the caption, I said, don't do too much. This could be about anybody. And y'all did too fucking much. I'ma just say it. Do y'all really think in the over four years that we have been broken up, four going on five years, that we haven't spoke? Do y'all really think that? Y'all think we- I don't know that much. You tell me. Beef. <laughs> Bitch, we talked. We- April 2019, we met up at Walmart and has all this shit. I gotta move this video, y'all. All this shit out. We've been cordial ever since, consistently until the end of 2021. Whoa. Okay, that changed the game. That changed the game right there. Wait a minute. So Mila and Chrissy been together all that time. Comment down below. Do y'all think that's why Mila continuously brings Damo up? Like, do y'all think that she knows that Chrissy and Damo were talking again? You know, communicating. I'm sure it wasn't like that. But that would kind of make sense. Why she keep bringing up Damo's name and shit. Like, mm, it's getting a little spicy. <laughs> We talked all this shit out. Did we come to about social media and tell y'all oh. that? No, because y'all do too fucking much. We was mm. cool. And I want to say this. I need to remember this. <laughs> ADHD brain. Y'all do too fucking much, yeah. <laughs> and I love y'all. I do, but y'all do a lot, you know? And I have to bring this up. I have to. I'm going to come back to what I was just talking about, but I have to bring this up. Dominic, my son. I would really, 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 really appreciate if y'all would stop bullying her and harassing her about, um, which I've been saying this. Years. Y'all just choosing not to listen, but I'm gonna speak really cool right now, okay? These screenshots are just to show that we were indeed cool. Like I really created this beef. No, how, no many how, what, Damo? <laughs> Y'all really created this beef. How many times I said it's no beef? Mm. Stop bullying her. Stop harassing her. Oh. Ooh. 
<gasps> it's getting juicy. She brought the receipts out. Okay. <laughs> it's a Debbie. LOL, she's a hot mess. I just want to remind you, even though you already know that you're a bad bitch, and I'm so happy you genuinely found your true self and live your best life. I am in Valpo, and I just remember all the stories you tell. Yo, I should have put my glasses on. <laughs> I just remember all the stories you tell me of you struggling and shit, so I'm really proud that you got out of that and made something of yourself. You definitely deserve it. Have a good night. Oh, so this is Chrissy texting Domo this. I need to talk to you. I need to vent. <laughs> I have nobody out here, bro. You're not obligated to, but this is a cry for help. And it's just about life shit, not anything crazy. I would like to meet up whenever you're not busy, if you're comfortable with that. And if not, just let me know. I just need someone to talk to. Ooh. Yeah. Um, if Mela went through the phone <laughs> uh, and saw this, I, I see why she decides to keep bringing, you know, Donald's name up. And why she's so mad? Because uh, you try to vent to your ex. Uh, oh, this just changed the game right here. Um. Mm. Her about obviously me that's obviously that and then obviously dominant we've been never mind because i don't even get no i don't even give a fuck no more people just trying to start shit do you trust me wait a minute that's chrissy asking her do you trust me wait hold up <laughs> lol that's a weird ass question what happened eyes with the eye emoji did you kill someone yeah i would have said that's a weird question do i trust you hell no after what you did, do I trust you? I would have said that's a weird question, too. Anyway, no, I'm talking about do you trust me to not disrespect anything you asked me to do? No, I do not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, I don't. Sorry, I don't. I don't trust you like that. No, 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 no. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to move this video again so I can see the rest of this. This is a lot, y'all. This is crazy. This changed the game. You know what? I really try to think like that. But one day you could wake up and feel different. Feel different. Set this motherfucker off. Facts. Facts. I hope we can stay cordial, shit, stressful, hating each other. I went through the worst point in my life during that situation. I would never jeopardize my happiness to satisfy these people who are waiting for me to say something. Let me put my glasses on because it's giving screenshots and receipts and I need to be able to see all of this. Y'all, this is crazy. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think. Like, I understand, Damo, because no, I don't trust you that any day you can flip the script and wake up and say you want to expose me or whatever you want to do. No, no, ma'am. And to be honest, Damo better than me. Because I wouldn't even have been talking to her again, to be honest. That's just me. You feel me? Nah. After what you did? Nah. Mm-mm. Definitely not. <sighs> but to be honest, this gives me like... Chrissy know what she did wrong, where she went wrong. And I feel like she feels bad about a lot of things and how they went down. I feel like she genuinely feel like she lost a friend. That she was close to. And she misses that. Mm. Wow. Cordial up until 2021. <laughs> Yo, I'm petty as hell. Yes, I'm okay. LOL, good morning. How's the tour going? Is it tiring? And thank you. Tyron, I was so tired yesterday, lol. Oh my fucking god, but I got a lot of rest last night. That's cool. You got some videos from tour. I want to see. I wish I could get sleep. I never sleep good. You never sleep good. Damn. What is what is Mila over there doing, man? Your girl ain't sleeping good. What is going on? <laughs> hey, Belinda. Just want to remind you, you're a great person and a badass bitch. Keep being the sunshine you are. Damn. And she was talking to herself. Because <laughs> Domo was barely replying. 
Damn. Mm. It's crazy. Damn. And I know she's going to be probably upset that I'm. She's just going to have to be upset now. Tell her I say hi if you can. I will. She always says she misses you. LOL. I just had a dream about you, bitch. Dream? Why are you dreaming about your ex? <laughs> I just had a dream about you. <laughs> Yo, my hair hurt from all this. I just had a dream about you, bitch. And I woke up crying. Now I look dumb because Jamil is like, what the fuck is wrong with you? We both were just hugging and crying and it made me so sad. I don't know what was going on, but all it was was just us hugging and crying. I just need a hug. So one thing about it is if uh, if Jamila don't know about this, you know, let's say she doesn't because I don't know if she was continuously, you know, coming at Domo because she knew. But if she didn't know that they were speaking or oh, it's going to be some problems, <laughs> Ooh, they're going to be beefing. Domo going to have them beefing because. You woke up crying. Now you look dumb because Jamila like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So did you tell her what was wrong with you? Did you tell her about the dream? I'm just wondering. I just want to know. Mm. Damn. I'm telling y'all that. Like, we've been cordial. I'm not even joking. Like, we have been cordial. So voice message say, I wish we could go to lunch or something. Bitch, you just have to be famous, stupid whore. You want to hang out with your ex? You want to <laughs> fuck a gym? I'm about to get surgery. I look like a marshmallow and I'm tired. What, Chrissy? Update on my life. I woke up to money in my account, so I was able to pay all my bills. I'm so grateful. That's all. LOL. Have a good day. Wow. Mm. So in the midst of all this, she was having like financial issues. Whoo, this telling a lot. Like, that's sad though. Damn. Mm. Gorgeous. Y'all are the ones starting to beat. You know what I'm saying? You think that I want to run around here? Thank you. I'm going to be a OBGYN. I want to deliver babies and take care of moms, prenatal and postpartum care i'm getting most of my tats laser off too not required i just want to oh my gosh how fucking cute do it that's great deliver my babies all seven of them <laughs> what chrissy i thought you ain't want no kids what oh. you're mad at the motherfucking world mad holding this i had to pull the grill out i got a music video in a couple days old dom will come back for three minutes Okay, laughing my fucking ass off, bitch. Did you not, bitch? You did not say old oh, dumb. No I'm so happy for you, for real. I'm genuinely happy that you decided to choose yourself and say fuck everyone's opinion and do what you wanted to do because you a bad bitch. You've been through a lot, especially on the internet, and I'm glad that you're still doing. You, regardless of what people say, how fucking ironic I'm and how fucking ironic and blackbird I look over to a fat ass book with your middle name on it. Ciao. Is giving that she I, I respect her giving Dom her flowers, you feel me? But is is this really gives like I fucked up and I'm really trying to prove myself and <sighs> Wow. Mm. Girl, I told her neck grudge. Whatever happened in the past fucking happened. We can't change it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wanna say this. I just want to say I never gave her any money after we broke up, but I did support her business just like I would for any friend. And before y'all comment, yes, I know I'm a shitty texter. LOL, that's why I ain't got no motherfucking friends now. Yeah, because Damo did used to always say like she's a bad text, like a bad texter. Like <laughs> I used to see her posts on Instagram a lot. Like she's not a good texter. She would have friends and they would be texting her and she just wasn't good with texting them back. So she did say that a few times, but this is wild, man. This is wild, but I feel that. I feel that. Like, <sighs> damn. Mm. 
Dominique Belinda, I don't even know what to say. LOL, I really hope you like the products as well. Shit, since you bought every fucking thing, that means a lot for real. I thank you from the pit of my heart. You already know I've been talking about this shit since like March, and I'm glad you gave me the chance to serve your face. Girl, you know I got you. Mm. To be honest, this that's very mature of Domo. Like, that's... Mm. Like, she didn't go hand in her money. She basically put money into her business, which is amazing. You know, because if Chrissy was having financial issues, Domo bought every motherfucking thing, everything. That was enough to pay her bills, I'm sure. That's amazing, though. Like, Domo really got a good heart because, like I'm saying, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I just ain't there yet. You feel me? But the way that she did her, I wouldn't have been able to do it, honey. We wouldn't have been talking. She better than me. This is crazy. Wow. Comment down below and leave y'all thoughts. Like, I really am mind blown. I don't really know what to say. Stop bullying her about Dominic, about me, about Eric. Shut the fuck up. Move on, okay? I want to make this clear right now. I am Dominic's only parent. That's obvious. That's been obvious to me. Y'all be asking dumb shit. If you don't see him with her, why would you even ask? Make it make sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Because y'all bringing that up to her. Y'all don't know the trauma that that puts her through. You feel me? Like... I'm not going to sit here and say that she didn't love that little boy. Like, I'm, I can't say that. You feel me? She took care of her, you know, she took care of him, excuse me, on her own. You know, when her and Damo broke up, she was still taking care of him. No matter how people felt about the situation, she still did what she, you know, did for him. And we don't know if the financial problem started then and she was still, you know, taking care of him when they were going back and forth doing a little, you know, co-parenting type of thing. Wow. I'm leave this here. She's not asked about him. She's yeah. not seen him in four years, over four years. So you do the math. People are like, oh, you're not upset about that? You're not hurt? No. Why would I be? I know what it is. I know what it was. I said what I said. It's yeah. all good. It's all gravy. And I'm grateful. And I really wish her all the happiness. And I've been saying this for years. For years. If you don't like somebody, don't go on their page and talk shit to them. You have every right night to like somebody. Mm -hmm. You have every right not to respect somebody, okay? But that don't mean that you have to go to that person page. I fucking hate you. Like, keyboard banging. Like, let it be. It's don't put no one on their page. It's yeah. that simple. And I've been saying that as I've been repeating this whole video for years. And let me tell you why I've been cordial with her these last few years up until 2021. Which I'm not going to explain why we stopped talking because that's, that's a whole nother mm -hmm. um situation that i don't even want to get into the reason i was cordial wow. for her is because yes we was never meant to be together you was never meant to be dominic's parent we all know that a lot of people say oh but she got his name tattooed and she also got my name tattooed twice and my birthday let's move on stop asking her when she gonna cover it i asked her when she gonna cover it i said i don't even pay for it and that was honestly our last conversation i said can you cover my name can you cover She's my probably not ready Shit. okay and i'm gonna leave it there but just know that we were cordial do you think that i would be cordial with somebody i hate no i'm a very understanding person you know what i'm saying i'm very like okay life happens Shit ain't always gonna work out how you think it's gonna work out move the fuck on if we can yeah. move on if i can move on and she can move on why do y'all give a fuck Stop grouping us together. I don't give a fuck if we was the biggest lesbian couple ever. And there's more. I understand. There's some couples out here. I follow one on TikTok now. They're the cute as fuck. They're cuter than we were. Cute as fuck. Go find another one, please. Please, please. I'm begging you, don't link us together. Because when I pop out with a wife or a husband, because I'm not popping out today because I didn't learn my motherfucking lesson. And that don't mean no shade. I just mean that any, I always tell my friends, my family, people, y'all, don't pop out with nobody. Y'all be popping out with like eight boyfriends or y'all be popping out with people who didn't feel like you got to stay with them because if you popped out. Like, I know marriage ain't always the end all be all, but that's the security I need. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not getting pregnant again unless I do it by myself. Unless I'm married and I've never been married you know what I'm saying like it's just a certain security I'm not saying oh they're gonna be young you know but it's certain security I need and I hope y'all don't take offense to that I'm not judging your lifestyle I'm just securing mine but anyway let's get off subject um I forgot what I was talking about <laughs> yo she that. be rambling sometimes I the question is, do I get bullied do I get talked about do I get harassed all the fucking time y'all think everybody like me <laughs> everybody not going like you that's the fucking 
fucking joke. I've been on social media for 11 years. You know what I'm saying? I made my first million before I was even 20. I had 2 million followers on Facebook before I even met her. I had 1 million followers on Instagram before I even met her. Made all the goat before I even met her. social Y'all media goat. Solo me. You know what I'm saying? When I could bully when I was with her, I had somebody to lean on. Solo, young, impressionable me. I've been bullied from the jump and still continue to be bullied to this day. But the difference between me and her, which I understand her mindset, I get it. I, I've been preaching. We used to have conversations about this when we was cool, when we was cordial. And it, it had nothing to do with Dominic. And I want y'all to know that. Y'all be like, oh, poor her, poor her. She don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm not saying that like, oh, she don't give a fuck. I'm actually like, I wish her the best. I honestly hope she, whoever her soulmate is or, she, or whatever, I hope she gets married. I hope she has kids. I hope everything she wants out of life comes true because she deserved that shit. Yeah. No matter what the fuck me and her went through. To be what? honest, this is real mature, Damo, and I respect it. I feel like a lot of people can't sit on the internet and do this. You feel me? They so prideful. They want to sit on here and bash their ex. They want to talk crap instead of giving them their flowers you feel me y'all had y'all moment it wasn't you know supposed to be it is what it is it's over with it ain't no beef we cordial that doesn't mean that we buddy buddy we friends but it ain't no beef it ain't no smoke if i see you in the streets hey what's up um and keep it moving you feel me but i respect her for this like she's very mature for this and y'all i'm proud i'm proud of Domo's growth for real like this is this, she came a long ways because back then baby they was going at it but she can't i respect this i do genuinely what y'all it was four fucking years ago it yeah. was four years ago let it go because y'all be mm. so like it wrapped in toying and i know we brought y'all into this shit but it's like uh, i don't give a fuck <laughs> we gotta make yeah. it like this shit because <laughs> i'm not doing this shit for another four years constantly mm -hmm. mentioning like i used to tell her when we was cool block them yeah. why are you even giving them block, a day report it's all that Oh, I swear to God, I hate Domo. She's fucking confused as hell, like stupid ass bisexual bitch. Like they be saying that shit. I'm like, man, that's wild. Like, how the fuck you next? I'm like, dig your pussy. I'm like, I mean, I sound like I fuck them both at the same time. God damn. But like, I'm not even going to respond. I'm going to block you. Why? <laughs> because you don't know me. I don't know you, and I don't give a fuck about your opinion. Damn, yeah. ain't that wild? Or when somebody could be like, um, I hate Domo. I always got bad vibes from her. I'm going to block you. You know why? Because you don't know me. You you know what I put on the internet. You don't know me. And I'm not even going to be mad. Okay, you get mad about me, shorty. Hey, hey, everybody don't like me. Maturing is realizing Dama was the problem. I'm going to block you. You know what I'm saying? I see yeah, that. Yeah, Chrissy needs to start problem. blocking Maturin people, is to be honest. Maturing is realizing she was the problem. Shut the fuck up. I want y'all to know our relationship was very public. But at some point in time, y'all got to move on. I feel like y'all in the relationship and y'all still mourning. Find another couple. And I know I can't say Like, it's never going to be. It's never going to happen. Not my type. Damn sure not her type. We never work. We never will work. And I knew that early on. And it's my fault. I truly blame myself. If you're going to blame anybody, blame me. Don't blame her. I, I, I truly mean that. Do not blame her for what is going on, for what happened. I blame me because I seen early on and I still decided to pursue it. You know, mm. blame me. Damn. Stop pointing fingers at her. All wow. Time. So she basically saying like she already seen a lot of signs in the beginning, but she still decided to pursue it anyway wow wow that's when you wake up and you realize what you did in a situation and the outcome that you got was because of the decisions that you made wow yo like Domo just really said a word there like I hope y'all caught that she really said a word there and that's very mature her you know for her to take the blame for the things that went on um but honestly, you know, um, that doesn't mean that you just take advantage of a person at all and you use and abuse a situation. Um, but I respect that Domo is the bigger woman to step up and say, hey, you know, I blame myself for this. You know, it was a lot of things that I saw and I still pursued it. So it's like you kind of get what you asked for. <laughs> Damn later like in the beginning even Oof. in the beginning like i just feel like my heart just can't stand to see people be treated that way we're yeah. all god's children at the end of the day i cannot hold any hate in my heart and if i do i will be miserable like i just mm. don't want to do it okay i love everybody i care for everybody do i give a fuck about i know it sounds confusing you care but you don't give a fuck yes yeah <laughs> I guess the best way I can describe it. like i care for the person i don't want to don't the, give a uh, fuck about it i don't want anybody to get bullied i don't want anyone to oh, talk God. Not good enough. i just want people to get over it like mm -hmm. i feel like i'm just circling like for real i just want people to get over it y'all worried about the wrong ex i've been fucking on my other exes and let's be for real y'all oh. motherfucking ex my other exes be throwing 
shade. Everybody oh. throw a big shade. They be like, damn, she thinks she's too good for me. No, you think I'm too good for you, bitch. Didn't nobody ever say that shit. Let's be for real. But anyways, uh, oh my God. don't worry about the wrong ex. I'm going to let y'all know her right now. Yo, no, if, if, it, if it was anybody, wow. I'm the wrong motherfucking ex. Let's be for real. Like I said, over the years, um, it was hot and my makeup probably... <sighs> Yeah, I went to the hospital uh, this weekend. Um, stress. And it wasn't because any of this. This didn't even happen until like a day or two ago. Uh, I had to write a wheel for Dominic and I was just stressed. And then it was just a little bit of school. Not much because school is coming easy to me, to be honest. And I'm so grateful. But it was just, it was a lot. So I was in the hospital mm. and I'm so stressed. But I'm better now. Right. <laughs> you know, black people love to keep their wristbands, but it's in my computer. So I actually took this from the hospital. Sorry, y'all. If y'all watching this, the hospital. It was in my book bag. Like, honestly, when y'all had gave it to me, I didn't See, I mean, over Yeah, she be rambling. I'm going to forget so much that I want to say in this video. Like, I did not even want to make this video, but I'm like, you know what? My ex keep asking me, not to me personally, she's sending y'all, to please say, um, tell them to leave me alone. I've been saying that. Even when we were cool, I was sending you screenshots all the time of me defending you because I don't like people fucking with you. I don't like people fucking with anybody. My ex then fucked her stepbrother, and I didn't even want people fucking with her. TMI, but God damn. Left my fucking ass off, huh? Why? How? I'm confused. LOL. I literally never respond to shit, but they so motherfucking irky with this shit. Me and you been cool for like two of these three years. They just say anything. Life my fucking ass off. Right? LOL. They want it to be something that's not going to be. So, congratulations on being an auntie. My mama, all, my mama be watching your shit and told me Steve had a baby. Mm. Wow. So, the mom still be watching Domo. Wow. Oh. Brother, and I didn't even want people fucking with her. TMI, but God damn. Just because, like, we don't work out and I don't really fucking like certain people, don't mean I want the worst for you. Yeah, yeah like, I understand that. Never met you. Like, that's not what exactly how I. Never mind. But. <laughs> I want y'all to know this. It is long overdue, um, this video. Um, my ex has spoke out about this. Um, you guys told me about it. That's how I know. Stop playing fucking messenger. But obviously, I'm kind of glad y'all told me about this specific one because it's like... I hate that. I genuinely think <laughs> Damn, camera overdue. stop. For both parties. Um, I wish nothing but happiness for her. I wish her healing. I wish her peace. I wish her whatever she wants to come true comes true. And stop grouping us together. Anything I post, I don't. From now on, I really don't give a fuck if y'all think anything is about her. I'm leaving that shit up. I be deleting shit because I'm like, oh my, hit a fuck they go again. Hit a fuck y'all niggas go again. And it's like, bro, like, is you good? You okay? You more invested than we are. You good? And it's like, Shit. yeah, no. That's what I forgot to talk about that I skipped over. I forgot what I was talking about how we was cool. And the reason I was cool with her is because it has nothing to do with Dominic. Because like I said, she don't ask, I don't say. And we just don't talk about it. And we just been cool, cordial. Like, like we was never supposed to be together. When I, and I mean that in the most, sort of God. I mean that in the most serious way possible. Like, I don't feel no disrespect for her. I don't feel no hate for her anymore. Like, I used to back in the day. But not anymore. And I know I you did. Like it works better like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything works better. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it had nothing to do with Dominic while I was cool with her. I honestly felt bad for her because I don't like people being bullied. I don't like people being harassed. No matter what they did, I don't like it. I'm going to give you an example because I don't want y'all to think like, oh my God, it's just her. Like, she's so special to Damo. Like, do I think that she's worth it and worth something in life? Yes. Is she special to me and my love of her? Absolutely not. I'm in love with myself for the first time. You know, I'm in love with me. I've been waiting to feel this love for so long. And these last few years have been nothing but short of amazing. And y'all always want to correlate something with getting back together. Oh my God, don't. Do you still want to? No, motherfucker. Do you realize that if you wanted to be together, we would? Do y'all not realize that? Y'all be acting like shit Clearly. is impossible. I have elevated moved on she has elevated moved on and we have moved on and we're growing as people let it the fuck go okay tell you the girlfriend too let it go for real you more mad than she is for okay? real let it go Facts. cease let it go stop fucking talking about me i don't <laughs> give a fuck okay it's annoying it's obsessive and um oh it's not even hard to her so much because yeah she be throwing those like shady shit but, like, but you'll be like all the time bro like one youtube search y'all will oh. see everything i'm talking about yeah Just search it up like Chrissy Danielle girlfriend Mila for K speaks on Damo Wilson. Hmm. Damo and Chrissy break up exposed by Mila for K. Mila for K on IG Live will never be friends with that. This is the one I saw where she was calling Damo a bitch for what? Why are you speaking on her? Mila for K speaks on how Damo and Chrissy drama affected her.
Chrissy Danielle girlfriend and Miller for K speaks on them breaking up. This is just to show y'all like how many times Miller from the beginning to still now has been talking about Damo. It's just weird. All the time. So that's not a lie. She constantly speaking on her. I have condos in your head for whatever. <laughs> you do. Stop, please. Please. I wish you the best. You live rent free in her head, bro. I wish you peace, but please stop. Like, bro, mm. I don't even respond. I have not responded. But at some point, you get fed up. Yeah. You know, you get fed up, you get irritated. Like, <laughs> ain't no way. There's no reason to even be talking about me. I'm not bitter, love. He bothers me. <laughs> I was fine. I don't call that man. Uh, I don't call y'all. Uh, Why are we here right now? I do not get it. Facts. <laughs> Yo, summer funny. It's fucking weird, bro. It's obsessive. It Stop is. Stop the tout chasing. She remind me of like, uh, you know how baby daddies get new girlfriends, even though like I don't have a baby mama or no baby daddy, but you know how baby daddies get new girlfriends and the girlfriend be like, you keep him away from his son. You keep it. But again, he keep it his stuff away from his, like, what the fuck are you, like, that's what she remind me of. She always yeah. talking about the shit. Like, let me put it this way, then I'm going to get Like, she was in a relationship. And it's like, but y'all wasn't there. Y'all don't even know. Like, does she have any proof? Does she, there was only two people in a relationship. She that's never facts. went down. I never went down. But you don't. So why are you speaking on it constantly? Four years later, it's getting obsessed. It's giving it obsessed. It's giving you press. I thought you have to have some type of peace in your heart to like move on. Like, well, yeah. let's, let's keep it pushing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you ahead of time. Thank you. Please. But yeah. I'm I glad Damo addressed that because that needed to be addressed. Like, you weird, bro. Keep fucking bringing her up. Like, you acting like you was fucking her. Like, it's weird. Like... Is you jealous? Is you mad? Like, you hating? Which one is it? Like, it's weird. It's obsessive. I just wanted to say, let's all be nice. Let's all be kind. That's so funny that I'm saying all this afterwards, but, like, I'm fed up. If y'all understand, like, y'all be like, oh, if you respond, then that means you care too much. If you respond, sometimes people get fed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people get fed up. And that's why I understand why my ex do be responding. I do. Not against me. Like, damn, bitch, what the fuck are you? But when that shit responding against you, I'll be fucking understanding. You know, sometimes I should be on my For You page on TikTok, even though she's blocked. But like, when people be talking about her, and she be clapping back and they be putting, anyways, TikTok messy as fuck, by the way. It I, is. I, I, messy as hell. But, um, TikTok is shit, messy. Y'all either gonna support her or you're not. You gonna support me or you're not. I get bullied all the fucking time. I don't give a fuck. Y'all don't know me. I don't know you. But I do appreciate the love. I care about the love more than I care about the hate. I get bullied all this every day every day but i ignore it you know why because i understand that now everybody's gonna like me and i understand that you're not here to change everybody's opinion to you if everybody likes me do you know how much i gotta walk around this bitch like i'm beyonce and still people don't even like beyonce i love people That's like facts. Beyonce. but i would never walk with my head high like yeah bitch yeah oh okay yeah so my point is not everybody gonna like you people ask me do you get hate yes all the time i just don't respond this is the first time i responded to it honestly it feels good to let this shit the fuck out this mm -hmm. shit inside for a minute you know what i'm saying anyways I'm don't sure. me match my words i know y'all will because what do y'all do y'all do too much and let me say this it's not all of y'all a lot of y'all have genuine intentions a lot of y'all care about me deeply a lot of you guys care about me and my son's well-being a lot of you guys just simply care right but some of y'all just do too much you know and y'all won't beef y'all won't drum it's interesting i know the views be like, oh my god oh my god but i don't give a fuck about that shit i'm in school right now to make a better life for me and my son even though like we are wealthy we are blessed we are you know we're, we're here but there's a bag beyond YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a bag beyond music, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of music, I want to say this right now. I got a song coming out, and this ain't no fuck, oh my God, she did this video to promo. No, but I want to <laughs> say this because I know the fuck y'all going to do too much. I got a song coming out soon, and it's called X Colon. Y'all going to do too much off the fucking title. But I want you to know, it is not about her. How many X's I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Shit, eight. Shit, yeah, like she the so only X. 21 Savage. Sure. I don't know. I have more than one X. Oh my God. I, can, I know. I can, y'all can't believe it. I know. I'll be getting women in then. You know, I'll be, I be hearing the X's. But not everything pertains to her. Not everything she posts pertains to me. It is called as Colin. And if y'all do decide to listen, if the pronouns are he and she, she's in a relationship with the girl and the girl. Like, do the math. Like, let's not do too much. I already know y'all gonna do too much, but let's not do too much. Thank you so much. I'm actually y'all ahead of time. If y'all do too much, you're not getting a fucking response anyway. So do what you please, actually. I don't give yeah. a fuck. I just want to say this because I, this has been on my heart for a minute. It's done. It's over. Okay? It's done. It's over. And it has been. Let's do the math. <laughs> 365 times four and a half. Long you know, time has like, been done. Overall, my whole purpose.
is this. I wish everybody happiness. Do what you want. Do what you please. Y'all be coming to me talking shit about her, like screenshots, like somebody coming in on my YouTube video and be going back to school talking about something. Did you see your ex is now going to college and she doing so bad and she ain't got no car? Shut the fuck up. Mm. Too invested. Because if I defend her, y'all think I want her back. I can't never say nothing good about her because y'all do too fucking much. Shut the fuck up. You know what? If she want to go to school to better herself, who the fuck? Did I make college? Right. Oh, did I invent college? No. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. She ain't got no car. She'll get one. The fuck do you want me to do and say? Yeah, right. that bitch only got no car. That bitch. I don't know. I understand the past. I understand the anger. I understand the frustration. But you gotta move on. And you gotta move on. You yeah. gotta move on. You gotta move on. Like you got to. Please. <laughs> for your mental health and for everybody else's, you gotta move on. For I don't remember what else I wanted to say, but that's basically generalizing what I wanted to say. I'm um, hope I did not forget anything. I have been cried out. I have been depressed. I have not loved myself. I have been the lowest that I've ever been. And now that I'm finally where I am, don't try to bring me down. Don't bring anybody down. I've been saying this for years. Y'all just didn't want to hear me. Like for years. I'm not even joking. Who cares who the problem was? Who cares if some? Who fucking cares? Like, oh my, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm gonna pray to God. God, please let find a new youtube couple to <laughs> love and i understand i understand oh my God. And i'm trying to be mean but at this point it's annoying mm -hmm. y'all sit here and say well you gotta accept it it's on the internet you guys were that couple you guys are on the internet okay and we're not anymore the thing is she don't have to accept anything that's the problem with y'all like y'all are weird and too fucking invested on this internet bro they've been broke up for four five years now Mila and Chrissy together. Why don't y'all go, you know, idolize them and, you know, look, they a nice looking couple. Why don't y'all idolize them and talk about them the way y'all talk about Dom and Chrissy like they still together? I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. Oh, my God. She's in a whole new couple relationship. Go fantasize about them. Facts. What I just said. <laughs> Sure, they had some issues too. Okay. Have them post a couple videos and y'all go fantasize and y'all go do whatever that like stop putting mm. me in it. Cause when I pop out, like I said, I'm not popping out till I'm married. When I pop out and I see any of that shit in my comments, it's over fucking that's when I'm gonna get mad. Cause how you disrespecting my wife or my husband? You know right. what I'm saying? How yeah. you doing that? I'm grinding for mine. You know that's what I'm saying? That's why I've been single for so long because not only am I dating for me, I'm dating for my son. I cannot right. just be out here. Oh my god, I like you. You fine as hell and you got big ass, or oh, you got a big dick. I like you. Let's get it. No, I'm dating for my son. Yeah. That's why I stopped having situationships and flings, and now it's either a surge relationship or nothing, per period. <laughs> Somebody got to love my son as much yeah. as I do. Somebody got to love my son and treat him well. Somebody got to understand his autism. It's all kinds of stuff that goes into it. I'm not just dating for me. So when y'all look at me, y'all be like, oh, she's happy because she's in this relationship and that was miserable because she's single. I love myself. I love my son. I'm valuing. Y'all be so thirsty for a relationship that you yeah, guys sit down crazy. and say, hmm, is that the only thing life has to offer? It's, it's, not, it's okay. not. Be fucking it's for not. I am on a different wave path. I hope they work out. I think they actually work really good together. And for me, like I said, when I get a wife or a husband and y'all keep mentioning my ex, I thank God. I thank God that I never put nobody else on YouTube. God, thank you, God. Because the way it's too much. in a relationship, now like, oh my God, we're talking. Oh my God, you're so, no. I mean, relationship you know what i'm saying because y'all do too much bro like damn yeah. and if y'all disrespect my wife or my husband like that i promise you i'm i'm, I'm gonna be mad as fuck because i'm a i'm a whole married woman now and you and just know when i get married it's crazy. Bro, i'm taking my time on purpose i'm gonna get a college degree working my dream job you know what i'm saying i gotta get to where i want my son just start talking fluently well i'm not gonna mm. say he's like oh my god he's doing good though but he's doing his damn thing yes he's doing the thing He's smart, he's intelligent, he's just so freaking awesome, and I smell so big every time I talk about him, because I love him, I'm so blessed. If somebody was like, mom say anything, like, I didn't know what love was before, I did not, <laughs> my baby. Um, anyways, my whole purpose was, y'all better stop this shit, because I'm, I'm this close, I'm this close to being in a serious relationship, and if y'all keep this shit going, <laughs> y'all fucking run off my uh, significant other. It's gonna be a fucking problem, okay? Stop mm. playing with me, please. I'm begging, like, I'm begging this shit, y'all know. I don't back the shit. But please, come on, like, can I be happy? <laughs> I'm happy, but y'all be what I think. Like, can I be, can I move on in peace? Yeah, hey, it's crazy. I couldn't imagine being in a relationship with somebody constantly mentioning my ex. Constantly. I could, that's why I understand 
what my ex be going through, but I'm not going to sit here. I'm not. I want to be real and I want to be honest and I want to be transparent. I'm not going to sit here and be fake. I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but I'm not going to say it all. I don't like how she acts like she don't throw shade. The list goes on. I just don't respond. Yeah. I just you talking about Damo. She had she hasn't even mentioned mentioned you. Interesting. Let me see what this is about. I seen her in Scottsdale dating Sweetie. I really don't think it's about you anymore. It's giving jealousy. She has life going on going for her. I don't know. You trying to sc scramble for rent. She has a right to talk about the pain she endured. And you are obviously entitled to it too. But everything she posts, you try and take it take it like she's delusional you're talking something personal she has made it clear multiple times to not associate all her videos to her one public relationship when she sees everyone mentioning you you're trying to switch it up and act like it's all about you trying to shut her up or something that's weird if she did if she did feel abandoned by you she can record videos it's her life to talk about it i think you saw someone comment she's a narcissist and you running with wait a minute who is this is this somebody saying this to Chrissy? Like, mm. don't respond, and I have not been. And before y'all say, how you know she was sending you? She said, tell your babe me to stop. I'm not gonna even get on that topic. Just know that look, I forgive you. Ooh. I don't even care. Mm. I'm sorry. I forgive you. This mm. is I'm talking to my ex right now. If you even watching this, I forgive you. Like, and I'm sorry. Let's give a round of applause for Domo for being mature because at the end of the day, you're not always going to get an apology from someone. You, when you deserve that apology, you're not always going to get it from them. So at some point in life, you had to apologize to the person, um, you know, that's not what I wanted to say. At some point in life, you have to learn to forgive people, even if they don't come to you and apologize. Sometimes you're just not going to get that from everybody is not mature enough to sit there and apologize for what they did wrong. But in order for you to move on, you have to find a way to get over, move past, because I'm not going to say get over, move past for you, your mental and forgive someone even if they didn't come to you and get an apology y'all know i learned this from going to um therapy i learned that in therapy you know just dealing with a lot of things and you expect to get apologies from people you expect that realistically you gotta realize that you're not always gonna get that at some point you gotta be the bigger person in order to move on and grow, just forgive. People make mistakes. Give grace. Forgive. Let it go. Move on. I'm proud of her for that. That's big right there. For whatever I did to you that made you feel hurt or made you feel less than or make you feel like you just scum, you know? And I, I genuinely, 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 genuinely meant it. And I wish you all the best. I genuinely do. Like, I just yeah. want everyone to be happy. I don't even know if I'm going to post mm. this because I just don't feel like going through this shit again. No, I was talking. Um, right yes, now, you did. It's <laughs> just too much. But it's like, my ex cleared up everything. So I just feel like, because I've been so silent for the last four and a half years, besides the fact, besides the fact of defending her, even in my worst times, I felt like scum. Even when I felt the scum, I always defended her. Always, and you can look back on that. Like, yeah, we had our beef, we went back and forth. For it. But I always told y'all, yeah. you don't like somebody, keep it pushing. You don't like somebody, they was young, young. Like somebody, blah, blah, blah. Like, I wish everybody the best. I wish everybody healing. And I know I'm repetitive, but I genuinely mean that. Sorry, guys, I'm hot. I genuinely mean that. So I'm going to end it with this note. Stop bullying people. Let it the fuck up. And I hate that I'm cussing in this video because y'all just bring me to this point. And when I say y'all, I'm not talking about my support. It's I'm annoying. Talking about people who, like, literally just do too much. Stop harassing people. You don't like me? Get off my page. You don't like her? Why are you on her page? You know what I'm saying? Like, we have moved on. And I just don't understand how the rest of the world has it. Like, I don't give a fuck that we was that couple. I keep saying that. I don't care. Nothing yeah. you say will make me care about the fact that we were your childhood. And I know that probably sounds inconsiderate, but y'all gotta move on, bro. Like, I can't wait. I cannot wait until I, like, pop out. I feel like that's the only way y'all gonna shut the fuck up. I, I genuinely do. But like I said, I'm not just gonna it's just crazy. settle because I want y'all to shut up. No, I'm taking my time. My baby deserves everything plus more. Now, I'm not saying I need anybody, but I'm just saying if I ever did decide to, like, really seriously pursue somebody... He deserves that shit, and I'm serious. But anyways, I know this is going to mm. work for a lot of feathers, and I know this is going to start a lot of 
Unless yeah. Shit, if y'all uh, told them not to, but y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do because y'all are human beings and y'all are free. So. This gonna ruffle uh Mila uh feathers for real. <laughs> Cause if she ain't know about them talking and all the conversations and stuff, woo, might be some trouble in paradise. I don't know. I don't the know. Freedom of speech, but I am also free to tell y'all to shut the fuck up and block. I ain't even gonna tell y'all yeah. to shut the fuck up. I don't even respond to hate ever, ever. You would never see me. Somebody be like, "Damn, you gained away. You look fat." Like, like y'all. Some people really say that shit to me. Like, why would you say that? Like, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna just block you because yeah, I did put on a few pounds. I did, but that's so inappropriate. Because why would you say? That? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I want everybody healthy. Everybody happy. Everybody move on. It is what it is. Fuck it. Fuck. We broke up so long ago. I can't believe that I don't even have to sit here and make this video. This shit's mm. irritating, actually. This shit is so fucking irritating. But I wish everybody the best. I love you so much. If I see one of y'all motherfuckers again, snitching on my ex. Because y'all think she talking about me. Snitching on my ex. Telling me she throwing shade. Snitching on my ex. Telling me I don't give a fuck at this point. If she decides to respond or she decides to say anything, I don't give a fuck. And I don't mean that in no disrespectful way. I just mean that in the way that I said it. And I might have come off disrespectful. But you get what I'm fucking trying to say. <laughs> I just like, this shouldn't even be an issue. And a lot of people are like, but no response is a response. So you're responding. So I'm responding because I'm fed up. I'm responding because this is the last time I now the last time I responded was four years ago, almost five. I'm responding again because I'm not doing this in another four years. We're not doing this. Yeah, right like now, let it the fuck years, go. Nine years. We're not doing this, guys. We're gonna wrap this up. We're done, okay? We're done, okay? I didn't get a dick. You know what I'm saying? I didn't <laughs> pussy, you know what I'm saying? We're done. Come on, wow. We're never getting back together. But there's no beef that you guys created. Maybe sometimes she feel like throwing shade at me. Okay, I don't throw shade at her because I am truly just gone from it. Like, I've been eliminating myself. Even when we were cool and cordial, I've eliminated myself. All of that shit. We was talking yeah. like we was homegirls. And that's the crazy part. We was never talking like... We was never talking on no type of shit like that. I don't want y'all to know that shit right now before y'all running. Like, y'all was like, oh my God, maybe that she talking out. Maybe we have... We just didn't come to the internet with y'all. And I'm going to be fucking honest. Like, I don't give a fuck who get mad at this statement. We just did not come to the internet. And now y'all creating unnecessary beef. I don't got beef. To have beef, you got to give a fuck. And I just don't. I just get irritated when y'all try to pin two people against each other. Y'all going to start mm -hmm. this again for what? Start drama and beef, Be yeah. fucking for real. Anyways, this is a sign of self-love yourself a little bit more today. Do that thing you always wanted to do. If you're a mom watching this, you're a damn good mom. And stop feeling guilty. I just want to send positive vibes out. I'm so sick of all this negative shit that's been happening within these last whatever, however it's been it's just annoying as fuck and we're not doing this shit again i love you so much thank you for being here thank you for loving me and i know this is a different content than what i normally post i only post like school stuff now and stuff about my son because those are the two things i love most and my content is just different and this is just not in the norm and i don't want this to become the norm so sh sh like let it go i don't know how many times i can say let this shit go because it's annoying like i know i probably said it a billion times but sh please Please, like, how about you and your significant other make a YouTube video? And if you really miss us together, <laughs> For then real. you did not listen to the breakup. You didn't see what happened. You didn't see what went down. Because why would you miss something that wasn't made to be together? Yeah, that shit was crazy. When we told our sides, it was obviously not good. Like, mm -hmm. let's value ourselves a little more. Put this to the side and let's keep it moving. We are not doing this again. Thank you. Like, thank you. Like, if you choose not to support me after this video, you choose to keep hating on me. I really don't give a fuck. I, and I'm not trying to be mean. Like, but if you choose to keep loving me and keep supporting me, thank you for being here. You know, some people's love are conditional and you guys are unconditional. And I thank y'all for being here. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for loving my son. I would not be where I am. Like I always say without God and you guys, you guys keep me grounded. And I appreciate the people who are just not here to be nosy, but genuinely give a fuck about me as a person. Thank you so much. Um, I'm all cried out. Um, I can't cry no more because you yeah. know i genuinely just feel at peace but i can't really be genuinely at peace if y'all keep bothering people you know what i'm saying like just let it go like let it go and y'all gonna be mad at me that y'all say i'm defending her y'all saying oh my god how can she do this after all that but you gotta move on at some point like yeah, my it's dad ridiculous. died in february of 2022 after being I'm not sad. in my life inconsistently for 28 years i'm 28 a week before his passing he wrote me and basically apologized for everything for 
basically everything he's done wrong in my life. And mm. I said, it's okay, we move forward. And that's when I felt at peace, and I thought that was so ironic. You see how life mm. happens? Ironic. Everything ain't meant to be sneaky or whatever. It's ironic. And I said, yeah. I forgive you. And it's in the past. And he died a week later. Mm. And I say that to say this. Everything does not have to be a grudge. If I could forgive my own father, who was absent 28 years, I could forgive a girl I was with for, we weren't even together that long. That's the crazy yeah. part. We was together that long to you guys because we was a couple on YouTube. We, it wasn't that fucking long. Like, if that's you real. my other exes for cheating on me you severely, like a habitual cheater. You pussy that thirsty? No, I'm <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? If I could forgive her, like, we cordial too. It ain't just, oh, you're going to be cordial with that ex? No, I'm cordial with anybody. If we decide, hey, I want to apologize to you for what you did. You want to apologize to me for what you did. And we want to be cordial. We're not saying we got to be besties. Oh, my God. That's no, it just ain't thing. no beef. But if we want to be, like, adults about the situation and, like, let's move on. Even though it was a lot of hurt, then we can do that. And that's mm -hmm. called being grown. And there's yep. going to be a lot of kids on here that won't understand, that won't get they it. They ain't going to get it. <laughs> Move the fuck on, okay? And I know y'all wow. kids are like, oh my God, why are you talking to me like that? Because you're in my comments. And usually, like, I love kids. You know yeah. I love kids. I love kids. I love kids. I love kids. But stay in the kids' place, please, when it comes to this. Hey. Everything that y'all seen on YouTube, for the most part, was a facade. And, I, and I've been told y'all that. We were like best friends in a relationship, minus everything else. And that's the best way I could put it. Even though there was a lot of rocky points, and I hate that I'm even talking about this, but I feel like I'm not going to speak about this ever again. So I have to put everything in this one video. It was never what y'all thought it was. It, yeah, we were fun to watch. It was cute. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever it didn't look say. like it, it either. Of your imagination, and I hate to say that. Like, just get over it. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm trying to be as sweet and respectful as I can. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm invalidating their feelings. But you got to think about mine, and you got to think about hers. She's in a whole new relationship. I'm mm -hmm. doing my motherfucking thing right now. You know what I'm saying? Let us be. That's the whole point of this video. I love y'all so much. I'm gonna go get a shower, wipe this makeup off my face. I just put my baby to bed. He's sleep. Um, and yeah, leave her alone about everything. Leave me alone about everything. And if you choose not to leave us alone, you're probably gonna get blocked. I don't know what the fuck she do about the situation, but I'm gonna block you. I'm never gonna respond. You're not getting yeah. the time of day. But I love you guys. I feel like I'm just keep talking because I'm repetitive like an ADHD and I can't <laughs> shut up right now. All right. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Whew, that was a lot to take in y'all comment down below and leave y'all thoughts on that video that definitely was a lot to take in but i can say that i am definitely proud of damo like she came a long way you feel me and that was really mature of her it takes a lot to come on the internet and do something like that when the other party probably isn't going to do that um but to take a lot of blame and fault for your you know for things that happen I definitely respect Damo for that. Like, leave y'all comments down below. That was a lot to take in, though, man. Whew, that was a lot. I, I was kind of like, it was surprising to me. You feel me? I never thought that they would speak again and be cool like that. The way that they ended, it was just crazy. But, wow. Woo. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.